Aquarius. Happy New Year and Happy January. Here is your forecast. On the fourth of the month, Venus goes into your second house of money, joining Mars and Neptune. So this could really bring you some good news financially. It's also wanting you to really tune into yourself and realize how valuable you are, how precious you are. With Neptune there, it's really wanting you to just get in touch with the fact that you're really special, you're unique. There's never going to be another you. And if you can get in touch with that deep part of yourself and really value who you are, what you're about, you're going to be able to change your whole financial situation for the better this year, immensely. It's also encouraging you to intuitively trust that intuition with business ideas. You might have a really great business idea and other people are telling you, oh no, don't, this and that and the other. No, this is going to give you some really good intuitive possible money makers here. So trust what you're feeling and go with it. Now Mercury, the planet that rules travel, technology and communication, is still retrograde until the 9th of this month. So things might just not really get moving very quickly at the very beginning of the month. Don't worry about that. Just focus on things that are moving rather than what isn't and you'll find that the year will begin much more easily for you. Now on the 12th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your sixth house, Aquarius, of work, of health, of service to others. A full moon in the sixth often means a change of work or a change of job description or a change of employees, a change of people you're working with. Because full moons very often bring about a change. If you're looking for work, shining a light, maybe you've not been looking in the right direction. Maybe there are some different uh, directions you can point your arrows towards. This is what this moon is going to suggest. It's also shining a light on your physical well-being. Maybe you've indulged a little over the uh, holiday season and maybe it's time to get a really good diet together and some good thoughts about your health and do some regular exercise. Now on the 13th of the month we've got Mercury joining the Sun in your 12th house. And so lovely Aquarians, it's birthday month for you early Aquarians. Happy, 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 happy birthday to you. And with this Mercury and the Sun and Pluto in the 12th, this is just asking you to look at this past year, look at all the wonderful things you've accomplished, all the things that are great that have happened to you, and reassess things and think about what you need to let go of. Think about the things that you just need to release so that you've got the space for some wonderful new things to come into your life. Because boy, there's some really wonderful things hanging out there. And it's also an opportunity to go more deeply into the spiritual side of you, to go more deeply internally, to ask some deep questions maybe of God or whatever you believe, maybe your higher self or another intelligence really get some amazing answers. You may be amazed at what you find. I would have a pen by your bed for your dreams and also do some journaling. Could be some great information that comes out. On the 20th of January it's happy birthday time Aquarius and on the 28th of January we've got a lovely new moon in your sign. What could be nicer? I don't know. So sun and new moon in your sign, new beginnings, maybe a new way you're going to look, a new way you want to present yourself, a new way you're going to approach your relationships, a new way you're going to approach your work. It's time to start new projects. It's time to start new things from your birthday onwards. This is spotlight on you, Aquarius and it's exciting, and it's new, and it's fresh. And I feel excited about it just talking about it, 
and I'm not even Aquarian. However, my part of fortune is in Aquarius. And on the 29th of the month, we've got Mars coming into your third house, energising your thinking. You might have lots of wonderful ideas, and it's also going to be great for networking, for connecting with new people, and also for maybe doing some great negotiations. I wish you a wonderful, happy, happy birthday. May this be your very best year so far. Thank you for commenting, for sharing and subscribing. Happy January.